This could be, this could be for anybody. This could be for anybody. Um, right, here you go. Oh. It looks like it's quite long. <laughs> what can technology do for climate change? Oh, okay. Ooh. Who wants to start? <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Pregnant pause here. Let me, let me think about this. A lot of things. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Loads. So I suppose, let, right, okay, hang on. So let's break down climate change a little bit. Yeah. Uh, coral reefs. So... I mean, it could do loads for coral reefs. Like, I think, aren't they... I'm sure I've seen something where people are, like, developing something to help clean it, um, clean it out and protect fish I and things like that. I have definitely seen there is technology where you can get plastic and convert plastic into other reusable materials or even break it down which yeah. is a new development which is quite obviously that's quite exciting yeah because i don't know have you have you been to any reef type areas in your life you have done a lot of traveling so i actually do you know what i actually haven't and i really really want to one of the most depressing things i ever saw uh was on an island in the middle of well not even in the middle of the maldives on the second most southerly atoll of the maldives yeah. down the equator lovely there was a storm and on our last Plastic. morning there just we were literally thousands of miles from land oh, and plastic yeah. was washing up on the, on the reef which was thoroughly depressing because it was a pristine reef but equally whilst we were there a French lady was, was there who said, who'd been to the Maldives 20 years previously and said that the reef didn't resemble anything like it used to wow that's quite sad actually so yeah anything that can kind of be done to that, that, that can be done to treat plastic in some way would be good. Yeah. Also, I've seen autonomous bots that record um, not just the temperature, but go up and down and take pictures to allow scientists to, to monitor the health of reefs. Nice. Yeah. Um, I yeah. have seen I've seen quite a few videos about um, kind of protecting the reef, and I just can't remember what they're doing, which is really annoying. But I, when I was in Finland. Um, my friend's dad, who was driving us around, said that basically in Finland they've developed um, a fuel which is from um, your waste. So I know that people had kind of played with that idea. Some but reason I actually... just thought waste rather than oh, waste. But no, as in like, mind. in your bin. <laughs> <laughs> no mind, anyway. <laughs> um, and that's what, that's the fuel that you, they use for cars in Finland? Well, and whilst we're on that subject, electricity, electric cars... Yeah, electric um, cars. I'm buying a house that has built-in electric plugs on the side of the house ready for... Oh, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, so that you don't have to worry about charging stations. You can do it directly from your house. That's a feature on new builds. So that's yeah. definitely something. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. Of course, you still got to wonder how they're generating the electricity. Mm. Um, Bill's Brain on Netflix, really interesting little mini-series, three-part. The last Ooh. part on that is all about nuclear power. Bill Gates, yeah. the, Bill, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, yeah. are looking at how you can use... Um, degraded materials so yeah. like the offcasts of old nuclear fusion or fission can't remember which one they use yeah. but anyway nuclear power stations and reusing that material in wholly new reactors um, because no one's bothered to update um, nuclear power station technology since the 1960s really? so they're saying like hang on a minute maybe maybe we can build safe reactors and reutilize degraded material which means that they wouldn't be creating any more nuclear waste than we already have on the planet anyway that's good. No more burning of fossil fuels. Yeah. Obviously, that's a win. Um, and what else could technology? Um, what can technology do for climate change? I mean, there's just so. This is actually like so much. Uh, well, for a start, um, somehow someone could stop uh, Facebook having an influence on the American election and stop Trump getting elected. That would have a positive <laughs> impact on, on yeah. climate change. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that could be a good start. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean tech yeah but then like you say like social media that could have that has a massive influence i mean like um so with the um, like the australian fires yeah. i mean that's really brought awareness to climate change um in general like that's one way that tech can bring like bring change people and, and as simple as spreading becoming more aware of it yeah spreading spreading the voice of someone like a greater thumbberg yeah, and kind of waking exactly. up an entire generation to the to the risks that, that there are i feel like we said quite a lot yeah we have mm. This is unusual. We, we sound <laughs> reasonably informed. Uh, however, if there are other ways that technology could help the climate, please do tell us because I'm, yeah, I'm sure we've us. missed quite a lot. Yeah. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs>